Morning, welcome to today's session. I hope you had a lovely day in the sunshine yesterday. Let's get started. So we're going to do our neck stretches, the same as we did yesterday. So you can be standing or kneeling. I'm just going to tip our head over to one side. So think ear to shoulder, bring the hand across the head and reaching the arm away. So just getting a nice stretch down the side of the neck. Nice deep breaths. Relaxing there, swapping side, tipping over into the shoulder, hand across the head, reaching the other arm away. Relaxing there, we've got one more on each side, tipping over, arm across. Reaching away. Last time tipping over, bring the arm across, reaching away. And relax in there. And now we're laying on our backs for our breathing. So we're going to be laying down on the floor. You're looking up towards the ceiling. Knees are bent, feet are on the floor, and your arms are just resting down beside you. So we're just going to start to take nice deep breaths in and out. So you're breathing all the way in through the nose. Out through a pursed lip. Breathing in. And out. So as you're taking those nice deep breaths, I want you to think about the position of your hips. So think about having a torch on each hip bone and imagine they're shining up parallel to one another onto the ceiling. Keeping the shoulders relaxed and away from the ears. Chest is nice and open. Keeping that weight evenly placed to your feet. So your big toe, little toe and heel. And just start to gently tighten in the tummy. The next time that you breathe out, I'd like you to tuck the pelvis under so you're flattening your lower back into the mat. Take a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to release out to neutral. Tucking under to flatten. Holding there. Releasing out. As you're going into your tucked under position, I think you're trying to find a nice strong flat back. You're using the pelvis and your tummy muscles to move. Try and avoid squeezing the bottom. And 
this next one we're going to hold that flat back tucking under so here as you hold this flat back really pressing the lower spine into the floor as much as you can we're going to start to tighten in the pelvic floor so as you breathe out you're tightening all the way in with your pelvic floor inhale to release exhale to tighten inhale to release think of the sensation of stopping a wee mid flow So as you're tightening, you should feel as though your tummy muscles are working harder and that your back is slightly flatter into the floor. We're going to half this contraction. So 50% tightening in the pelvic floor as you exhale, inhale to release. So we still want this relaxed position through the upper body, shoulders away from the ears, chest is nice and open. And if you're feeling tense or tight through your upper body, just turn your palms up to the ceiling, which will help to open up through the chest. We're pulling the tummy all the way down towards the spine and keeping the weight even through your feet. So big toe, little toe, and heel. We're halving one last time. So 20 to 25% tightening. So this should feel like a very gentle lifting. Something that you could sustain throughout any exercise if you needed to. It's just working in the background. So your flat back position should feel nice and strong. You're using your tummy muscles and your pelvic floor to help you to stay there. <clears throat> We're going to bring both legs up into a tabletop position. So you want your knees above your hips and your shins parallel to the ceiling. And we're going to go into toe taps. So from here you're going to tap one toe down towards the floor Inhale to lift, swapping sides, tapping down, and lift, tapping down, and lift. So we're going to keep that flat back position. <clears throat> so you're using your tummy muscles and your pelvic floor. Shoulders stay nice and relaxed. You're moving through the hip here. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice deep breath. Let's take two more on each side, tap down and lift, tap down and lift, last one each side, tap down and lift, tapping down and lift, just hugging those knees in to the chest and then we're going to go on to our hands and knees. underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips, tummy's nice and tight. So we're just going to go into our back release stretch. So tucking the pelvis under, curving the spine, 
dropping the head. Take a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to release back to your start position. Working through the spine and lifting the head. Tucking under to curve. Arching the back. Dropping the head, we hold. Then releasing out through the spine. And the head lifts. So we want to get as much movement through the back as we possibly can. Working into each section of the spine piece by piece. So if you have any areas that are feeling stiff or sore, you're just slowing them down. Taking your time to move into each vertebrae, one by one. Nice deep breath. So as we're curving the back, we're just pulling that tummy in. And as we're releasing to our start position, let those shoulders come away from your ears. Got two more here. So we're curving the back, arching the spine, dropping the head, holding here for your breath, releasing out piece by piece, <clears throat> lifting the head last time, tucking under to curve, arching the back. Dropping the head, we hold, releasing out through the spine. And lifting the head. From here we come back into a shell stretch, bottom to the feet, reaching those arms out in front. And then we're going to be on our sides. <clears throat> so we're going to do our chest opening stretch. So legs are together, knees are bent, <clears throat> arms are nice and long, palm to palm, and you're resting your head down onto your mat. So from here, we're going to lift this top arm up, so your fingertips are pointing to the ceiling. Taking the head with you, and twisting away towards that opposite wall, holding here to take a nice stretch before lifting back up and over to come down palm to palm. The top arm lifts, fingertips point to the ceiling, taking the head with you and twisting away and holding here to stretch we're lifting up and over to come down palm to palm. So you want to keep those legs glued together and grounded and making sure that this twist is coming through your waist. <coughs> nice deep breath. Looking at that 
that hand for as long as you can, keeping a good range of movement in your neck. Stretching from the fingertips all the way into your armpits. So as you're reaching away, you're really opening up with your chest. Let's take two more here. Lifting up fingertips to the ceiling. Taking the head with you. Twisting away, we hold. We're lifting back up and over to come down palm to palm. Last one, lifting up fingertips to the ceiling, taking the head with you, twisting away. We hold. Before lifting back up and over to come down palm to palm. I'm here with swapping sides. So again, bending those knees, stack the legs one on top of the other. Arms are coming out nice and long, palm to palm. Top arm lift, fingertips to the ceiling. Take the head with you, we're twisting away. Holding here to take your stretch before we lift back up and over to come down palm to palm. Top arm lifts, fingertips to the ceiling. Take the head with you, twisting away. Holding here as you stretch. Before lifting up and over to come down palm to palm. Just remember those legs stay glued together. Nice and ground again, the twist in the waist. You're taking nice deep breaths. Lots of control. Arms reaching long. From the fingertips to the armpit, really open the chest as you twist away. Looking at that hand for as long as you can. So make sure we've got a good range of movement through the neck. We're going to take two more here, lifting up, fingertips to the ceiling. Taking the head with you. We're twisting away, holding here to stretch before lifting back up and over to come down palm to palm. Last one, lifting up, taking the head with you, twisting away. We hold, coming up and over. Back down, palm to palm. Roll onto your back and take a nice full body stretch. We're staying on our backs, but if you need to get a drink, then grab one. So as you're laying on your back, get your knees bent, feet on the floor. And we want a neutral position through your spine. You should have that little gap underneath your lower back for your hand. Arms are resting down beside you. We're going to take a nice deep breath in to nod the head, chin to chest. Exhale to lift the shoulders. Reach those arms nice and long. Take a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to control back down. Chin to chest. Lifting the shoulders, reaching the arms, we hold. Control back down. So using your tummy muscles to lift you. Pull the belly button all the way down. We're using this chin to chest position to relax your neck. So you're thinking 
nice big nod of the head, then tighten the tummy as you lift. And get those shoulders down using the reach of your arms. Let's take two more here, then we'll change the arms, chin to chest. Lifting up. You hold. Control back down. One more here, chin to chest. Lifting up, we hold, control back down. From here, bring your arms across your chest, like you're giving yourself a nice hug. Same movement, chin to chest, lifting up. Holding here to breathe in, control back down, nodding the head. Lifting up, we hold, control back down. So just making sure here that your the moving of your arms hasn't lifted your shoulders up towards your ears. They should still be down and relaxed. Make sure you're tightening in the pelvic floor. using that breath. Remember your chin to chest position. Let's take two more here and we'll change the arms one last time. Chin to chest, lifting up we hold, control back down one more time, chin to chest, lifting up we hold, Control back down. From here, your hands are going one on top of the other, and you're placing them either onto your forehead or behind your head for support. If you're behind the head, make sure you're on the head and not the neck. Again, chin to chest. Lifting up, we hold. Control back down, nod the head. Lifting the shoulders, holding here. Control back down. So remember those nice deep breaths. You want to make sure that the chest is nice and open and that your shoulders are down. So keep those elbows really wide. Don't let them start to close in on your head. Still using the tummy and the pelvic floor. Take two more of these, chin to chest, lifting up. We hold, control back down. Last one, chin to chest, lifting up. We hold, control back down. From there, just hugging those knees in towards your chest. And then we're going to go either onto our knees onto your front if you don't like kneeing. So if you're laying on your front, you're just going to have the legs out long and behind you. Arms are mat width apart and in line with your ears. Um, if you're in a knelt position, tall through the body, um, keep those legs quite close together. If you suffer from cramp, tuck those toes under. If not, then just rest your feet down on the floor. Arms are long and beside you and just slightly tuck that head in so that we're not flinging it back, keeping the neck nice and relaxed. Your tummy is really tightened here. So as you lean back, hinging at your knees, you're going to take a breath in, tighten the tummy. Exhale, squeeze your bottom and lift back up. So we're going to breathe in to lean back. Squeeze to come back up. So think of the squeeze of your bottom driving you back to your start position. 
to lean back, squeeze and lift. Leaning back, squeeze to lift, relax those shoulders, lean and lift, nice deep breaths. The tummy should stay tightened the whole time. Let's take two more here, then we'll change the arms. Leaning back, squeeze to lift. Last one here, leaning back, squeeze to lift. From here, you're going to bring your arms across your chest, like we did in the last exercise. If you're um, laying on your front, then from here, you're going to lift alternating arms. So keep that head slightly tucked under if you're knelt. Breathing in to lean back, tighten the tummy, squeeze to lift back up, breathe in to lean back, squeeze to lift, so just making sure the shoulders stay down. Take nice deep breaths. Keep that slight tucking in with your chin. Let's take two more here, leaning back. Squeeze to lift. Leaning back. Squeeze to lift, relaxing there. Coming into a shell stretch position, so push your bottom back towards your feet. Reaching those arms out in front. From here we're going on to our backs for the hundred. Grab yourself a drink if you need one. So for your hundreds, you're going to be laying down on your back. Just have your knees bent while I'm talking through, feet on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to be finding a flat back position. So you need to get your lower back um, into the floor. So tucking under, getting that nice strong position. From here, I'll talk you through them, we'll all go together. From here, you're going to lift your legs up and lengthen them. So we've done this one for the last two days, we're just going to change the arms again. So you'll lift your legs up and lengthen them. It doesn't matter here if your knees are staying quite bent. It is the longest position that you can maintain. I would rather that your legs were lifted and bent and you sustain that for the whole exercise than you fully straighten them and after a few repetitions you have to stop. So just choose a position that's comfortable for you. You can, of course, start to add a little more bend throughout if you need to. So with those legs long and lifted, if your neck is sore, leave your head resting down. If not, nod the head, lift those shoulders, the arms will be long. So we're going to alternate the way that the palms face. Um, so you're going to breathe in while the palms face the floor, breathe out while the palms face the ceiling. And you'll just change in between each one. I'll still count for you, it's still the same amount. So the arms will look like this. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale. If you get really confused, just choose one and stay with it. It's not the end of the world if you do that. From there, hands come behind the head. Your legs are still lifted. And you're taking two sets of eight, sitting up towards those legs. You're then going to drop your head back, arms rest down beside you. And your legs are going to crisscross for two sets of eight. If your legs are bent, then it will be the bottom of your leg that will crisscross. If you want to make this harder, then you're just going to take your legs at a slight diagonal to the floor, so slightly closer towards the floor to keep your flat back. Right, let's get started. We'll go all together. So find a strong flat back position, nice and tucked under, no gap. 
when you're ready lift and lengthen those legs as much as you can if your neck is sore stay down if not we nod the head lift the shoulders arms are long and we inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five and inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five tummy in two three four five and exhale two three four five and inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five pelvic floor two three four five and exhale two three four five halfway two three four five and exhale two three four five and inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five tummy in two three four five and exhale two three four five two more two three four five and exhale two three four five last one two three four five and exhale two three four five staying here put those hands behind your head sitting up for eight seven six five breathe four three two one eight more eight seven six tummies in five four three two one rest the head down rest your arms down beside you keeping those legs long they crisscross for eight seven six five four three two one eight more eight seven six five four three two one relaxing there hug those knees into your chest and then when you're ready take a nice full body stretch from here bring yourself up to sitting so we're going to go into our stretches So from here we're going to do our mermaid stretch. We did this one yesterday. <coughs> so um, I'll talk you through the leg position again. So you can either be in a full mermaid leg, uh, which is one leg in front and one leg tucked behind, or a cross leg. So if you suffer from sore hips, it doesn't matter if you go into a cross leg position. Um, you need to be, if, you're, if you haven't got very much space in your room, shimmy yourself down to one end of your mat. And from there, you're going to take have one leg in front and take one leg behind so this is your full mermaid position of the legs if this position is really uncomfortable so especially in that back hip it, you might feel it in there then all you're going to do is instead of that full mermaid is a cross leg but you've still got one tucked in front and one tucked under either or you'll still get the same stretch it's just a different leg position Okay, so choose whichever one of those you want to use. Whichever one you use, make sure you're sitting really tall. Um, and if you are at one end of your mat, sorry I should have said this before, if you're at one end of your mat, then you need to make sure that the leg that's in front is the side of your mat where you've got lots of room. So you're gonna have the hand on, on the same side of the front leg on the floor, and that needs to be able to slide in and out. So that's why you need that space. The hand of your back leg is going to be reaching out nice and long. So from here, we're going to reach the arm towards the wall, as far over as you can. That won't be very much, so it doesn't matter there. Keep that feeling of stretching as you lift all the way up, so you're reaching the whole time. As you start to tip over, allow that hand to slide away. So you can stay on long after this stretch if you need to, especially if you're cross-legged, you'll find that. If not, drop yourself down onto your forearm if you've got that flexibility there. What you're looking to get is a nice stretch down your side. So it doesn't matter where you are in this position, as long as you're leant over and you can feel a stretch in this long side. And whilst you're here, you're just taking nice deep breaths in and out. And then we're going to come back up and over and we're doing that side again so you're reaching towards the wall 
keeping that reach as you come all the way up and over, sliding away as you drop down. So holding here, sorry my nose is really itchy, holding here as you stretch. And pushing back up, we've got one more here. Reaching, keep that reach as you come up and over, sliding the arm away, hold that nice long stretch. Nice deep breath. Pushing back up. We're going to swap sides. So if you are at one end of your mat, you'll need to swap ends. I'm just going to blow my nose. Hey, fever's bad today. So for this side, I'm going to remain in the cross leg position because this um, left hip of mine is uh, the one that's really uncomfortable and really tight. So putting that leg behind me is far too much for that hip, it's agonising. So if you are struggling with that and you're not sure what it should look like, I'm going to do the whole of this side in cross leg. So I've got that other leg crossed in front, the one that was in front before is just tucked underneath. So if you were doing the full mermaid, that leg would be behind you. So remember the hand on the same side as your front leg is on the fourth floor to slide and the other arm is reaching away. So reaching towards the wall, keep the reach as you come all the way up and over, allow this hand to slide away. So remember you're either on a long arm or your forearm. I can't get down there in this cross leg position, so I'm staying in a long arm position. Still getting a nice stretch down the side of my body, so it doesn't matter that I'm not lower. What matters is I'm getting that stretch. Nice deep breath. come back up to your start position and again reach keeping that reach lifting all the way up and over Ooh, really nice stretch down this side back up and over, we've got one more here, we reach, lifting up, stretching over, come back up and over, and his arms a little shake out, okay we're going to do a little twisting through the upper body, so again, just um, stay in your cross leg position. So come into that if you've been in full mermaid. We're just gonna take the arms in front and they're gonna stay in this bent position. So you're gonna feel like you're not getting a lot of twist um, without that arm pulling you around a little bit more. So just remember that, don't worry if you feel like that movement has become restricted. So hands just in front of the chest. Don't let those shoulders lift, they're down. So we're gonna be going Twist, twist and centre. Twist, twist and centre. So stay tall through the body. Don't start to slouch or let your posture go. You're still thinking twist, rebound in. So you're still that kind of little rebound, that little pulse on the second one. Think about looking over your elbow that's um, twisting to the back. So we know the whole of the upper body is going with you. The hips are nice and stabilised because you're sitting on top of them. Deep breaths. In. Twist, twist, in. Two more each side. Twist, twist, in. Twist, twist, in. Last one each side. Twist, twist, in. Twist, twist, in. And relax those arms. Bring your legs into our frog position. 
I'm just giving that little bounce, especially if you know you're tight in one or both hips. Little bounces up and down. Then stopping the bounce, just taking hold of those feet and leaning yourself forward. If you want to increase the stretch, elbows going to those legs, you're pulling yourself down. Good, relaxing there. From here, we're going to be um, working the arm. So either in standing or in knelt position. You can grab a drink if you need one. Oh. So from here, we're going to be doing our arm routine. So we're going to be doing our normal circles forward, circles back, pushing up, pushing down pushing forwards, pushing back. I had somebody ask me the other day if when you're changing the emphasis on the movement, if you need to change the way that your palms are facing, and you do. So make sure that as you're pushing up, your palms are facing up, push down, palms are down. Forwards, they're facing the front. Rotate your palms to face the back. It will start to work different muscles in different ways. Obviously, you can use your baked bean tins or your weights if you want to during this one. Same thing, your palm will be holding the weight and that's, that will rotate through the wrist. So we'll do that, um, the rest, then we'll go again. Then we're gonna go into our lifts, and down, lift and down, and again, lift down, lift down. Then we're gonna come into our washing machine, for two sets of eight, rotate back, two sets of eight, rest, and then I'll see how we feel if we want to go again. I'll try and remember that order because for me, um, my mind is just like mush at the moment, but I'm sure we'll be fine. So we'll just go for it and see how we are. If I go wrong, you just keep going. <coughs> so if you've got your weights, then grab them. Arms are coming out. We're going into our circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, reverse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pushing up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, forwards for eight, seven, six, five, Three, two, one, back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax the arms down. Remember to keep your tummy tightened the whole time. Here we go again. Circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back for eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, push up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, forwards for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back for eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, rest those arms down. Give them a little shake. So we're gonna be doing our lifts up and down. So that's across eight up, across eight down again. Rest, then we'll go again. Okay, here we go. This time your palms face forwards. Lift up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, just a short rest. Here we go again, lift for eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, going to washing machine. So we're gonna hold that for two sets of eight one way, two sets of eight the other way, and rest. Here we go, lifting up, washing machine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, reverse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest down. We're gonna do that one more time, two sets of eight for each direction. Here we go, forwards for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, rest those arms down, give them a little shake out. Good, from here we're gonna be on our hands and knees. Grab yourself a drink. Coming onto the forearms. Oh, I'll face this way actually. Coming onto the forearms. Um, on your forearms, try and keep them nice and parallel. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of work through the legs. I'm gonna see what I can do here um, because when I last did this, I really felt it in my hip. I'll still talk you through and I'll demonstrate what I can. So make sure your knees are underneath your hips. We're on the forearms so that we're not putting too much pressure through those arms. We're going to bring the leg out. Out and long behind you, just one, with the toe tucked under. And you're going to be lifting up and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. So I want you to keep the lift as high as you can go. Um, but keeping that length and keeping your hips stabilised. So it doesn't matter if your lift is small. Every time you're coming down to the floor in that flexed position. So if you do a few and you need that little rest, you can just hold it there. We're going to lift and down. Lift and down. Whew. On that same leg. So you're not changing sides. It's just a lift and down. Lift and down. Make sure you keep taking those nice deep breaths. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Two more. Lift and down. Lift and down. Relax in there. Just come up and give those arms a little shake if they're feeling sore. And we're going to swap sides. So still on the forearms. Again, taking that leg out. Toes are tucked under. Same thing again, we're going to lift and down, lift and down, breathe, lift and down. So you get that flexed, tucked under with the toes position each time you come back down to the floor. Deep breaths. You're keeping the tummy nice and tightened here. Just that little lift from the floor. Nice and controlled. Let's take two more here. Lift and down, lift and down. From there, come into a shoulder stretch back. We're staying on the hands and knees. This time you can be on your long arms if you want to, but I want you to think about the fact that I prefer that you were on long arms for your plank 
um, than for this exercise. So if you know that you, that, that you suffer from sore wrists, but you can sustain some weight there, save it for the planks. Okay, so either long arms or forearms, both feet are tucked under. As you breathe out, you're pulling your tummy in, pressing into your hands and your feet and your knees will lift just an inch or so from the floor. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Lifting up and down. You're thinking tummy is lifting. Hands and feet are there for support. Lifting up and down, up and down. So if you are on your forearms, just make sure that your eyes are down towards your mat. And if you're on long arms, you're looking just past the fingertips. You're trying to avoid in both positions, dropping the head and forcing the head back up. Just keeping the spine nice and neutral. Deep breaths. Four more here, lifting up and down, up and down, up and down, last one, lift and down, and then just relax and roll through the wrists. Good, from here we can do the same movement but we're adding in a little leg lift. Still either on long arms or on your forearms, completely up to you which you find more comfortable. Toes are still tucked under, so you're still going to get that lift off of the floor, just an inch or so. From there, you're lifting one foot off, put it down. The other leg lifts, put it down, bring the knees down. The leg lift isn't very much, you're only hovering from the floor, it's just a lift down, lift down, the knees come down. Use that tummy to lift you up, foot down, foot down knees come down. Can be on your forearms if you need to. Lifting up, leg down, leg down, relax down. <coughs> Remember to keep that head in line, so either down to your mat or just in front of those fingertips if you're on long arms. Lifting up, leg down, leg down, control the knees down. Let's do two more of these. Lift, leg, down, leg, down, relax. Last one, lift those knees. Up, down, up, down. The knees come down, you're stretching back. Roll through those wrists. Grab a drink if you need to. From here, we're going to go into our planks. So we're doing the same planks we've done uh, yesterday and Monday. Doesn't matter if this is your first class of the week. We're doing a downward dog plank. No, that doesn't make sense. A downward dog press up into a plank. So I can demonstrate the downward dog and the press up. But bear in mind, as you go into the plank, I'll be on my knees. Um, and you'll, you won't be, you'll have your knees off. If you've not done a downward dog plank before, then you can watch me demo now. If not, you're allowed, you can join in with me if you want to, completely up to you. So bring those hands slightly further in front. If, sorry, if you do suffer from sore wrists and you just can't bear weight on them, do this on your forearms and completely ignore the press up. Um, hands come slightly further in front of you, knees slightly further behind you. Tuck those toes under. Keep your legs quite close together. Don't take them far away from each other, that is cheating. So from here, you're gonna push your bottom up as high as you possibly can. So you should feel like there's a nice stretch in the back of your legs. Staying in this really high position, you're gonna bend your elbows and straighten them. So nothing else should move apart from those elbows. From there, you tuck your bottom under to bring yourself into your plank position. Holding here, we breathe in and out and relax down. 
tucking those toes under. We're going to push the bottom up nice and high. Getting that stretch in the legs. Bending the elbows for your press up. Straighten them. Tuck yourself under into that plank. Squeeze your bottom and pull your tummy in. And relax. So you're taking this in your own time, there's no rush. I want you to make sure that you're getting a really strong downward dog position. As you transition from that into your plank, make sure that you don't let those hips drop too much. So you should then be in that long line. And relax. So just taking them in your own time, there's no rush. You can spend a little bit longer in that downward dog if you want to get the benefits of that stretch. Taking those nice deep breaths. Let's do two more of these. Pushing that bottom up high. Once you're in that nice downward dog, bend those elbows, straighten. Bring yourself into your plank position. Breathing in and out. Relaxing the last one here. Pushing your bottom up nice and high. Finding that stretch. Bend the elbows, straighten them. Bring yourself into your plank. Hold here for your breath in, out, and relax. Take a stretch back, roll through those wrists. Well done, really good. From here, you're going to come into a standing or a kneeling position. You're going to interlace your fingers in front, so take the arms in quite a rounded position. From here I want you to pull your tummy in so you're curving your back, and then just drop the head to look through that space. Nice deep breaths. Dropping those arms. Rolling the shoulders back. I'm going to interlace the fingers behind. Reach the arms out long and just start to lift the chest and the head and lean back very slightly. Relaxing those arms, roll the shoulders forwards. We're doing each of those stretches one more time. Interlace the fingers in front, curving that back, drop the head. Deep breaths here. Dropping the arms, roll those shoulders back. Interlace the fingers behind, leaning back as you lift the chest and the head. Just roll those shoulders forwards. today's session. Thank you so much everybody for joining me today. I hope you've been enjoying the sessions. As always, any questions that you have over any extra stretches or exercises for anything specific that you want to know, you can either drop a comment below or private message me if you'd prefer. 
um, I'd be more than happy to help with anything that you want any help on especially now we've had 10 weeks of being stuck at home um, <clears throat> yeah I hope to see lots of you tomorrow um, and for the rest of the week take care and have a lovely day bye bye